All right, y'all, it's Saturday. I'm gonna be real honest. My phone just said full storage and deleted my previous video. So a little, uh, a little bitter, a little sour about that. But um, I'm gonna try and go quick so that my phone storage doesn't die again and I have to do this for a third time. So uh, today's announcement, tomorrow is Sunday Run Day, Hickson, 8.30, Ashley will be there. Um, otherwise, just try and get it in when you can. Um, wanna get a big group for the camera together. So um, look forward to that in August. And happy birthday, we've got three birthdays today. We've got Luisa's birthday, we've got Christian and LaRue's birthday, and we also have Caitlin's birthday. So happy birthday, you guys. Hope you get to celebrate big this weekend. Um, all right, so let's talk about today's workout. So today's workout's four time. Um, it's got, it's a little bit longer, which we tend to do on Saturdays. Uh, so we're gonna start with 50 burpees. You're gonna come back, uh, you're gonna go out the door for a one mile run. You're gonna come back and you're gonna do uh, 75 alternating dumbbell snatches or 75 ground to overhead with an odd object. Um, then you're gonna head back out for a mile run and then we're gonna finish off with 100 meter walking lunges, okay? Um, these are regular burpees today, chest hits the deck each time. Um, if you want to save your legs just a little bit for those runs, then think about stepping out of those, okay? So our two options to get out of those burpees today are gonna be a jump up like we normally do, using the, that hip pop and that jump, or we can step up out of the bottom. So down and then step out, clap at the top. Um, pick a way that um, you can keep moving through those. So that second option, stepping up, may control your heart rate a little bit more. Um, but if you do jump in and uh, out, back out of them, then find a pace that you can hold. Don't try and win this workout here, because I promise this isn't where, where you're gonna make up time. Um, just slow and controlled so that you can come and keep moving through the rest of the workout, okay? Um, those runs, uh, I would find a moderate pace for those runs today, okay? Think about keeping that chest up. That'll allow you to breathe easier. Um, that'll also take less tension off your butt. Make sure that you're using that good stride with your arms, all right? Um, so 75 alternating dumbbell snatches or odd, odd, um, odd object ground to overhead. For those, I would pick sets that you can hold. Um, I wouldn't go to failure on that first set and then have to take a really long break, okay? So if you think 10 um, is a really good goal for you, then do 10, set down your object or your dumbbell, take a deep breath, count to three, pick it back up, and then go back into them. And then that way you have a plan going into it and you don't just go all out that first set and then crash and burn um, and struggle to get to the 75, okay? Big thing with these today is we wanna see a good extension and pop of those hips, which initiates that object or that dumbbell to get overhead, all right? So um, the snatch is complete when our hips and our legs are locked out and our arm is locked out as well at the top. You can switch in front of your face to the other hand and rebound off the ground into that next one. Or if you're not comfortable with that, you can set it down at the bottom, switch arms, and then go into your next rep, okay? Um, for the ground to overhead, obviously we're not gonna switch, we're gonna come down and rebound kind of like we would with a barbell, okay? So again, find sets that you can hold for this whole workout for all 75. Um, and don't come out hot on that first set, all right? Um, and then after you finish those, you'll go back out for your second mile run. Um, try and keep it at that same pace that you did your first mile run, okay? Um, you know that you have planned really well or you've um, picked a good pace, if you can hold that for both those miles. Then when you come back, you're gonna finish off with 100 meters of walking lunges. So walking lunges, um, we've done these the past couple days, so big thing to think about is that back knee touches the ground. We want to keep that chest up and then drive up. So you can do a switch through, which means I'm just going to switch straight to that next one. Or you can kind of do a shuffle where you come up and then stand up and then shuffle your feet into your next one. All right. So that's going to be those walking lunges. Um, 
So that is the workout. Again, it's a longer one, which we tend to do on Saturdays. Um, it's a good chance to work on that running, uh, to get ready for that cam run in August. Um, so I hope you all do this one because the weather's gonna be really nice. And I think this is just a great workout. It's got a good combination of stuff in it um, for us to do. So for the warm up today, we're gonna do a 200 meter, just easy jog, just to kind of get our body moving. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do 30 seconds of all of the movements. So active Spider-Man, we do these all the time. You're gonna lunge back. Same uh, arm that's with that leg, comes down to the ground, and then reach up to the sky. Uh, active Samson stretch. Again, we're gonna come back. We're gonna push those palms up to the sky, get a good stretch, and alternate. Again, these are all 30 seconds, so switch legs. Mountain climbers, we all know mountain climbers, drive those knees up to that chest. Uh, slow air squats, so think about pausing air squats. We're just trying to prime our legs. We're not trying to go fast, so we're just gonna slowly go down. You can pause if you want to, and then come back up on those, okay? After that, push up to downward dog. Frog hops, so we did these. Um, these are warming us up for those burpees, so we're not gonna have our chest at the floor. We're just gonna jump down, pop up, pop up, all right? Just like that. Okay, so those are gonna get you really nice and warm for those burpees. Uh, reverse lunges, so um, you all know that. Slow burpees, so we're not going for speed there on those. And then we'll finish off with some walking lunges. I um, want you to take a look at the workout prep notes. They've got a practice round in there. Um, so if you're not feeling warmed up, if your heart rate hadn't got up yet, then go ahead and, and take on that practice.